Good day guys, my name is Magalan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am at a precast yard in Darwin, Australia. In today's video, we are going to see how a concrete precast panel is fabricated or made for buildings. It is going to be different from my previous videos and definitely it is going to be interesting. I hope most of you guys know what is a precast panel. For those who don't know about precast panels, let me tell you what they are. I hope all I hope we all know about building blocks toy which we all would have played when we were kids. Those building blocks are small parts of a building which can be fixed together in a proper way and made as a completed building. Precast panels are just like them guys. These precast panels are parts of a building which are structurally designed and they can be fabricated somewhere else. Then they can be brought to the construction site, fixed together and form a completed building. So in today's video, we are going to see how a precast wall can be fabricated. This video is full and full for entertainment purpose with some technical stuff covered regarding construction industry. So in today's video, we are going to see how a precast wall can be fabricated. This video is full and full for entertainment purpose with some technical stuff covered regarding construction industry. If you guys are new to this channel, Please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon and without further delay let's jump into the video. Alright guys now we are at the precast yard. This is a very big yard guys. Let's go and see the place where they make all the precast panels. This is where all the precast panels are made guys. They make elements like walls, beams, columns, slabs, drains, stairs and other minor structures. This is a mold or framework guys. This is where the reinforcement and other structures are arranged and then the concrete is poured to make a precast panel. Look at here guys. They are preparing the framework and going to tie all the reinforcement inside. Then this precast panel will be poured. Look at this panel guys. The reinforcement for this panel is completed and it is going to be poured with concrete today. Now let's see how the reinforcement is done for this panel. This is called as drawing guys. It is a very essential element in construction industry. All the details about these precast panels are mentioned in this drawing and the workers who make this panel should study this drawing and fix everything as per the drawing guys. You can see this drawing is very dirty and damaged a lot. This is how the drawing is used on site guys and there are a lot of hard work behind making every panel. Alright guys, this precast element is a wall guys. This is the bottom of the wall and the far side is the top of the wall. This wall is going to be fixed vertically on a slab and that is why these two tubes are installed here and they are called as grout tubes. There will be dowels installed in the slab and those dowels will go through these grout tubes. After erecting this panel vertically straight, a strong concrete grout will be used to fix that firmly on the slab. You can also see there are more reinforcement used on the either ends of this panel. It is because to absorb the tensile and shear forces and to make this panel stand strong without failure. Look at those two blue colored elements. They are called as props guys. They are used to insert a steel support and to stand this panel temporarily till it is grouted and fixed firmly permanently. These two yellow colored elements are called as edge lifters. They are used to lift this panel after concreting and the concrete is settled well. We lift this panel, put it in a trailer and carry to the work site to fix in the building. You can also see some openings in this precast panel guys. They are framed using steel or foam work like that and the concrete won't be poured into that structure. After completing everything, 
there will be an inspection done by an engineer for this precast panel guys he will check everything and tick the box to go ahead and pour the concrete today he is the engineer in charge and he is checking everything for that panel guys all right guys now everything is fine and time to pour the concrete in this panel Before we pour the concrete, we need to check some properties of the concrete and do a couple of tests guys. Let's do that now. This is the concrete we are going to test guys. First, the temperature of the concrete is tested. It should be within the specified range. After that, a test called slum test is done. Concrete will be put into this cone in three layers and compacted using that rod by punching 25 times in each layers. This test is to check the workability of freshly made concrete and therefore the ease with which concrete flows. By measuring the slump, we need to make sure it lies within the range. The second test is called as compressive strength test guys. This test is done by collecting the concrete in three different cylinders and cracking them using a machine after 7 and 28 days as per normal standards. This test is done to test the strength of concrete and capacity of concrete to withstand a load before experiencing failure. Alright guys, now the concreting for this panel is done. Next, it will be rendered to get a smooth finish on the surface. This is how leveling and smoothening of concrete surface is done guys. In some places, they use mechanically operated rendering machines. Alright guys, now the process is finished. This panel will stay here for some days and regular curing will be done. After few days, once the concrete is well settled and achieved the required strength, they will lift the panel and stack somewhere or directly load that onto the truck and deliver to the work site. You can see a completed panel here guys. There are a couple of lifters available to hook onto them and lift this panel. Look at these precast panels guys, they are really really heavy and if this falls on someone, he is dead. So high safety measures are followed when handling them. All these panels are soon to be delivered to the site to fix and complete a building. Alright guys, that's a wrap for this video. 
I hope you guys would have liked this video and if you did so please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you all in another wonderful video. Till then thanks for watching and cheers.